Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Chief, a.k.a. The Chef, a.k.a. the number one heyday player in the entire world, bringing you another episode of Brawl Stars, where inside of today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a brawler that I've been loving to play inside of Takedown so far. And rather than someone like a Colt, who I played for you guys yesterday, or an 8-bit, or, uh, you know, a Rico, or one of these really good long-range brawlers for uh, Takedown, this brawler, you actually get up close and personal with the boss, and I've been able to use him to get, like, three out of every five victories inside of Takedown so far. All right, it's not gonna be Band-Aid Shelly, but it's actually gonna be Bull. And with Bull, you wanna play Kamikaze style by just running straight forward into that robot, getting as much damage as you can, dying and repeating. You don't wanna stack up power cubes. You don't wanna play conservatively. You wanna get right up in that robot's face. And I've been using this to get a lot of wins. Now for takedown, as you guys may have noticed, there's a lot of randomness inside of the mode. If you get bad spawns in relation to the robot or you get other brawlers who for some reason are just trying to target you instead of targeting the robot, there's not a lot that you can do to get first place every Every single time but if you play well you can basically get top four every single time instead of takedown uh, barring some crazy bad luck and especially with bull you can pick up a lot of first place wins so kicking this one off guys I'm gonna take one easy power cube but then other than that I'm gonna run straight towards the boss right here get up close and personal and see if we can start getting some damage done boss is gonna get onto this Pam I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it around this bull is gonna kill me of course and uh, yeah, hopefully we get a good spawn on this left-hand side. All right, already a little unfortunate, but the luck is gonna turn around right there, getting this robot for half a second near us, so at least we got something done. Another power cube, this bull is being a little ridiculous, but let's make our way down south. I'm actually gonna use my super to get up close and personal to this robot, and we're back in the lead to kick this one off right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick before getting right back onto that bot. All right, looking good. We're back up to 4,000 HP, which means we can get up close to this robot. We can just keep working it around. Hopefully Bull doesn't go for us and Bull goes for the robot instead. Seven power cubes on that Bull, and as Bull, you're gonna die a lot. So maybe not the most value in going for those power cubes, but let's see, he is on the robot right now for a second. But with 36% sec or 36 left, we're looking pretty good so far. All right. Let's see. If we can get back to this robot one more time, we should win this game, but it just depends where it goes and if we get lucky for the rest of this. Looks like the robot's taking a lot of damage, though. We actually are not going to end up doing it. Oh, first place until the last 5%. Unfortunate final spawn, but still, second place after all that isn't so bad. We had a bad early game, we had a bad spawn at the very end, and we still ended up doing really well and picking up second place, guys. Not bad. You can see the strategy there. Be aggressive, get on the robot, don't worry about other brawlers, and make sure to try to stay away from conflict as much as you can. If you see another brawler running towards the robot with you, they might leave you alone, so long as you don't try to get crazy and kill them. So I like to try to stay away from other brawlers as much as I can, even if I have an opportunity to jump on them and do like half their health or three-fourths of their health, it's generally not gonna be worth it. You're gonna waste all of your ammo, which you need for the robot. They're probably gonna attack you back, and some people are super petty, and they're just gonna try to kill you for the rest the match so try to not make any enemies let other people fight it out let them do their thing and you just worry about taking on that robot and uh, you're gonna find yourself getting more wins now for this one that power cube is so far out of the way that I'm not even gonna look at it I'm gonna go straight towards this boss and make sure we get it towards our direction looks like it's gonna go top left to kick this off which means we can just fire on around right here let's get nice and close to this robot to get maximum damage done as bull of course guys you know that the closer you are as bull the more damage you're gonna be able to do let's go ahead and heal up for half a second before this robot gets back onto us Brock is actually firing at us for a second instead of that uh instead of that robot and once more we're getting some good damage done right here before we finally go down you're gonna die multiple times as bull that's just part of the game but the damage that you get done is better than almost any other brawler if you play it right now we're at 58 percent hp already on the robot this has been a fast game uh i think i sort of kicked that off by going towards the center but we really need the robot to get back close to us and uh, let's see if we can do it. Now this Rico is being very annoying. I can't really do too much with this Rico killing us. Robot's gonna run away again. And unfortunately, I think this is how the cookie's gonna crumble for this one. Let's make our way back on forward. Robot is still running for us. This robot does not want to get to know us right here. Robot's gonna continue to do some damage. Finally, we're gonna get close to this robot. Please don't run away, please don't run away, robot. Please don't run away. It's gonna leave again. This robot will not let me follow him. We're in the lead, but there's no way we're gonna hold it, guys. There goes the good job by someone else. Four power cubes, not gonna mean anything. Unfortunate right there. That was a very unlucky game, and we still got third place. That robot sprinted away from us three straight times, and uh, when that happens, you're really not gonna be able to take first. But we still got six trophies, and that's what you wanna do when you're playing bull. All right, I'm gonna run back up towards the robot, guys, not wasting any time with that power cube. Again, main goal is to get some really nice damage to kick it off, then worry about power cubes a little bit later. Let's just go ahead and hit the side right here, make our way on around. You can see that this, this uh, Colt right here isn't really worried about doing too much damage 
to the um, to me. He's just worried about doing damage to the robot. So let's go and heal on up for a second. Shelly's going to be fighting this uh, robot here. We're probably going to take a lot of damage. Yep, we're going to take a lot of damage. I'm going to run in and get as much as I can. And hopefully I get a nice spawn and can run my way back into the battle right here. So I think the Shelly's in first place. Still not going to worry about this power cube running right back towards the center. Maybe we'll get lucky with the robot running our way. Looks like the robot's actually going to run up towards the center, which is pretty decent for us. We just have to worry about this Leon and the robot once again going to leave us high and dry. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's just keep on walking on over. Leon, I think, was trying to target us right here. Robot is running again, but finally it's in our direction, so we're at least going to get some damage done. Robot legit has his Air Jordans on and will not stop sprinting across the map, which is becoming a little bit frustrating. I'm going to actually wait maybe for the robot to run out of here because I can't do anything else. This is so frustrating right now. We just can't do anything. We can't run close. We can't run far. We're still in the lead, but that's obviously not going to last. Okay, with 23% left, we need the robot to sprint left or else it's GG well played. Robot is actually going to make its way. Let's see where he is. He's still towards the top right. Robot and the Shelly right here is just being a big nuisance, guys. That's going to be GG. I think Daryl with 10 power cubes ended up picking that one up, but still... Rank three, six trophies. Okay, so we're not stacking first places like I was earlier today. I actually recorded the video with all these first places and I didn't turn my webcam on. So if you wanna hear the audio of me getting first place all these times, let me know. But even with this terrible robot running luck in the first couple of matches, we have a second and two thirds. I mean, I'll take that any day of the week for eight trophies, two six place tro or two six trophies. And uh, you can scale that up to like a thousand trophies, if not more on any brawler, that's super good. Okay, let's get into another one, 10 out of 10. Let's keep it rolling. Let's see if we can pick up that vaunted first place. Still, I will go for this very first uh, power cube right here. So let's snag that and then run on left. That one isn't so far out of the way, but it could cost me because the first one to the robot is gonna get it nice and dragged on over. Looks like this bull right here is gonna kick this one off, getting the first 3% of damage done. And at this point, I'm gonna work on just getting up close right here. Looks like the robot's actually gonna shoot its laser in the other direction. This Daryl is being so annoying and attacking other brawlers, but fortunately he's not attacking me. And it looks like bulls or the robot's gonna run away for the very very first time and now we can start getting some work done we're going to continue backing on up and getting some work done right here this daryl still being a little bit annoying this bull's going to go in bull's going to avoid us which means we can avoid him as well this is what i'm talking about for a perfect start to the game we're close to brawlers that don't want to attack us we can just keep on doing our thing right here i'm going to get one more hit potentially on this robot before trying to get out on the right hand side it's actually going to work right now we'll take one more power cube but with 10 power cubes on that bull that is a uh, that is not ideal. All right, 33%. We've been doing a lot of damage this entire game, but I don't know if we can make this last right here. That big bull is getting up close and personal. Your boy is gonna get onto this robot right here, guys. This could be the first win if we play our cards right. It just matters if, if the other bull has done more than us. Look at this, 3,300. That's gonna be GG well played. Finally a first place victory. Decent robots, terrible, or opponents did not try to kill me. First place, 10 trophies, that's how you get it done. That was the least dramatic win I think I've ever had inside a takedown. That is perfect. We went straight for the robot, no funny business, no messing around with other brawlers, no mortal enemies, and that's how we got it done. Decent. You're gonna be able to do that a lot of the times if things go right inside a takedown. And of course, when things go wrong, you can still finish up in third place. Now, as far as my reviews of takedown as a mode, I think it's sort of fun. I think the only frustrating thing is the randomness. I think I probably like um, Lone Star better than takedown. And I wish the bot was like a lot different. I wish they had like, you know, a big um, bull bot or a big Piper bot or a big, uh, you know, Rico bot. It's swapping bots who did different things in the center of the map that sort of changed the way you play the game. I also wouldn't mind if power cubes like spawned a little bit quicker or maybe you got like two power cubes for every like, and you got double the amount of power cubes inside of the game, I think would be pretty cool just to make it like really, really, really good to actually stack up power cubes. Because obviously for me, I'm not picking up any power cubes and I'm getting first place. I'd like to see people get rewarded if they farm up power cubes more than anything else. Oh man, I missed that first one. That's gonna cost me. Guys, every little second co uh, can cost you right here, but let's run back on forward to this robot and it already looks like a bull is getting something done. So we missed out on the first 11% by just going for the power cube, which is very unfortunate. And as soon as we make our way over, of course the robot is on the other side of the map. We have to just damage another bull, I guess, which stinks. We don't wanna damage anyone, but we really didn't have any other options. And, and probably by the time we get to this robot, he's just gonna sprint somewhere else. So finally, Finally, I'm gonna be on right here. Let's get away from this Rosa. Let's continue to do our thing. And okay, another bush, another bush bull. And the robot actually ran towards the water. I don't think I've ever seen that. And I'm literally all the way across the map. What? 
Oh, this is toxic, 35%. Can we possibly come back from this? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen a robot actually sprint to the wall right there. Robot is still right. <laughs> that is the worst takedown match I've ever. <laughs> I've never gotten lower than fifth place. What actually happened with that one? I swear on my life, I have never gotten lower than fifth place in takedown. I just got 10th and I don't know if there was too much I could actually do about it. I got my first power cube. I ran to the center. Robot ran right. I ran to the robot. I finally got some hits in. I died. Robot ran even farther right. I spawned literally across. The, I spawned in Clash Royale. I spawned literally in a different game. And by the time I got to the robot, it was dead. <laughs> I've never seen that before. And uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. But you guys, that's what I'm talking about with randomness. No, I've never felt randomness that bad inside of uh, this mode. <laughs> Of course the robot's gonna run away on the very first push, but um, that can happen. That can definitely happen. And already in this one, I, I feel like I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get triggered, but we're gonna be fine. Let's move in. All right, robot's gonna take a couple of shots right here. Robot's gonna take another one to the face. It's gonna run away from us again, but that's okay. We can just continue just mopping our way on forward. I'm gonna get up close and personal, hoping, yeah, the Colt didn't even try to take me out, which was really nice. Oh, but I played that really poorly by dying to the robot. So that one was definitely on me. I shouldn't have just taken every single shot that he had to offer me, but fortunately, robot's actually gonna make his way over here and this bodes pretty well for us. We can get back onto this bot and start slapping him for some good shots right there. 300 damage a hit, or 3000 damage a hit. I'm not even doing anything special. This is one of the worst ma or matches that I've actually played so far and we're still sitting in the lead after the very beginning. Now, I'm even gonna kill this Colt just cause he was right in my face. I couldn't really do anything against it. Um, so let's just go ahead and keep stacking on some damage. Crow's gonna do his thing. Uh, Robot of Death is gonna continue to fire his lasers right there. Looks like we're sitting okay. A lot of damage coming in. Jesse, yeah, I'm gonna die right here. That's fine. That's fine. 22%. Is it gonna be enough though? Let's see. Jesse isn't really too intimidating for me. So if Jesse's the one we're facing against, probably not gonna do much. 9% still in the lead. 5% still in the lead. 3%, 1%. GG. GG. 10 trophies, guys. That's how you get it done. All right. Crazy, crazy load of matches today. What do we have? Two first places, a second place, two third places, and a tenth. Let's scratch the tenth. Besides that, everything else was perfect. And honestly, I've done this for now two straight videos after my first video exploded. And Bull is an amazing brawler to pick up some easy trophies with if you guys want to play inside a takedown. Chase down that brawler. Don't worry too much about other brawlers. Um, make sure you don't get frustrated with RNG and uh, keep your eye on the prize, guys. That's about it for me. Have fun playing Bull. And of course, if you haven't already, sub on up, turn on notifications. And thank you guys as always for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate the support after seven years on YouTube, which is sort of magical to believe that a lot of you guys are still around. Thanks for showing the love. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.